Hello and welcome to this third video in the series on using macros in Cubase. Here we're going to look at a few techniques which I often find myself having to do manually prior to programming a macro. Um, again, these are the kind of things you, you may not be doing exactly this, but you'll hopefully find something which is uh, similar and it will allow you to speed up what you're doing and spend more time being musical. So first thing get quite a lot is creating a, an offbeat bass sound. So often you simply map out things by having long sustained notes and then start making them more interesting often by cutting them so in this case i'll hold down the out key and then cut this and you can see they get cut into in this case eight and then going through and muting every other one which is a little bit tedious and you can do it by a keyboard shortcut so you can move and then mute and then move and then mute and so on but it's still fairly tedious so we're going to program a macro to do that and a bit of a clue is the fact that i can do it from the keyboard so that's nearly always a a real sort of idea that you can just program a macro fairly quickly so when we look at this what i was actually doing if i select that first note to start off with it would be mute which in this case uh shift and m and then I'm moving across twice and then doing the same. So it's basically mute, move across twice, and then repeat that, let's say, four times to do an entire bar. So I'm just going to unmute that and then start making the macro. So again, as ever, file, key commands, press show macros, and we're going to call this one offbeat bass. So I understand it could be used for other instruments, but... There we go. So the first command we need is we want to mute. So if we do mute, you can see we've got quite a few different options, but we go through and eventually, depending on where we originally were, there we go. So I'm going to go for mute events. So that's going to be our first one. So I'm going to click on mute events and add that command. And then I'm going to add move to the right twice now i was doing that with the right hand cursor key and if we do that you see it says navigate right so i'm going to find that there and then i'm going to add that twice now i found that for creating repetitive macros this is a really useful way to do it so to search for one up here and to search for another one via the keyboard shortcut because then it's effectively like you've got a memory here of one and a memory there of the other so we need to move to the right because then we will move to the next note we can do so we're going to add that twice and then we're going to mute. So this time we are going to give it a better search. So we're going to do mute events. There we go. And then every time we'll go straight there. So we've got shift M, so mute events. So we're going to add that and then we're going to go to move right and add that twice. We're going to scroll down so we can see it properly. You see we've got one two we need this twice more there's no easy way to double this up so we're going to mute events again so add that and then select that add that twice mute events add that set that add that twice and then we will see we've got four versions of that now the last two move right strictly speaking you wouldn't need them if you were just going to do those mutes but by doing this and moving it on to the next note it means you can then duplicate the action so you just do it more than once and it will carry on working properly if you leave these off it won't work as well so let's just test that out so i'm going to click on that first note go to macros offbeat bass and it's done and you can see we're ready on the next one so if i do it again it does that as well okay i'm just going to undo those for the time being and we're going to add a keyboard shortcut so let's just find macro in here so we've got offbeat bass now i think of it as sort of a muting thing so i'm going to see if shift alt m has been used and it hasn't so i'm going to assign that to that and now whenever I want to go for the offbeat sidechain bass thing, shift alt M, done. So in this sort of toy example, obviously that's taken a little more time than it would have done to, to do it manually. But if you've got a somebody's magnum opus, which is immensely long and the 
the notes are different and the chord structures change and this that and the other this is way quicker and obviously of course when you've programmed the macro it gets saved with cubase settings so providing you don't have a you know a settings disaster that's going to be there all the time and you'll just be able to use it so making use of this is a really quick way to speed up those kind of uh decisions it's also important to remember that if you can test something out quickly it often gives you the incentive to do it if it was going to take you 20 minutes to do this on a track you probably wouldn't try it because you think oh it's only a one in ten chance of it working or whatever but if you can literally go da -da 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 on the keyboard and then try it it gives you the incentive to be a bit more experimental right so that's that now i'm just going to undo those and you see they get done as a block rather than individual ones there's another thing which is really common related to this, which is octave bass kind of thing. So da 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 da. But let's just mute the top strings. You've all heard that a million times. I think I've had to program it a million times. But anyway, let's look at that. So in that case, if we start on the first note, we move over one, move it up an octave, and then move over to the next one and that you would then repeat. So it's move, shift up an octave, move. So let's just recreate that in a macro. So again, under file key commands, we'll show the macros and let's call this octave base. So this one is move right because we want to start on the first note. So we're going to pick that. So right, right etc and then it's our old friend add up so shifting up add up so we're going to add that and then we're going to select and add that so that's the entire thing and we want to add four of those because then we'll get a bar's worth if they're eight notes so again it will be right add up right so go right add up right and then right add up right etc so we've got right add up right right add up right right add up right right add up right now again we've got this right at the end which may seem superfluous but it means that if you want to do multiple ones you're going to be in the right place to do that let's see if that works so again we've got our first note selected under macros octave bass there we go and we could do the same again but let's do the uh, keyboard shortcut for that again we open up macro here we find octave bass and we've got to think of something which is appropriate for that so i uh, for the time being i'm probably gonna use a variation on the up arrow now obviously we've got that out shift up which we've already done but control out shift up isn't assigned to anything so that's going to be the octave bass shortcut so do that and now i just need to click on that first one and then go one two three four done and again just like the last one really quick once you've got it programmed dead simple all you've got to do is cut your notes up now just to be clear if you cut it into sixteenths, it will work in the same way. So it'll be every other one. So let's just cut that into sixteenths and apply that. Oh, excuse me, didn't press the button down. I'll blame the dodgy finger. So same deal again. You can see obviously then it only does half a bar. Um, if you've got a pattern which is quite common, which would be to uh, two notes so an eighth and then two sixteenths you'd need to change your macro a bit unless you want some um, unusual polyrhythmic octave thing so in fact let's just try that so if you didn't change it then you will get yeah something you maybe didn't bargain for but often accidents like that can be quite interesting musically etc so we'll see oh yeah yeah so you possibly could find that that was the that was what you're after anyway and you can see obviously when it gets to these octave ones sorry the bar long ones it, it goes a bit crazy but with a bit of experimentation all sorts of useful things can fall out of there so that's uh, looking at programming some perhaps less obvious things uh, again it's a case of working out particularly if you're using lots of keyboard shortcuts and you're repeating yourself over and over again 
just putting that into a macro but as you've seen that there are lots of options which aren't assigned to keyboard shortcuts initially and you can use all of those and do a lot of stuff which will speed up your workflow and mean you're not spending time again being sort of a programmer thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed the video please do subscribe